Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at an extremely important aspect of software development and also software operation that unfortunately a lot of people kind of gloss over and don't really spend a lot of time on, kind of ignore, but it's really, really important. As I've said many times before in my videos, uh, you really need to understand what's going on in your software and in any engineering endeavor. You really need to know what's going on under the hood and you need to get feedback to find out what's actually going on. Don't just assume you know what's going on. Get some feedback that shows you exactly what values are you're working with, what the times are, and keep track of everything. And even when your software is done being developed and it's in operations, you need to understand what's going on with the software. So what we're going to do is look at a very simple way to make a method that you can use in any software when you're um, writing the software. You can just copy and paste the simple method and tweak it as you want. And it's basically going to allow you to very simply, as you can see here, give some time-stamped feedback on events that are occurring. And also they're in color, which can give you some visual feedback on how important they are. Here we've got some general notifications in blue and an, an emergency in red. And you can have this simple method that will give you all of that. And it will also allow you to save these events, these timestamped events to a CSV file that you can look at later. So as we can see here, we're going to need some sort of time stamping. We're going to need a way to print these in color, which means we're going to need a rich text box. And I've done a video on rich text boxes, how they work. I encourage you to take a look. But we're going to need a date time now type of timestamp, a rich text box. We're also going to need to send the data upon request to a CSV file. So keeping those in mind, let's take a look at the method we're going to use that you can use in future software. So here is a method, public void, and I'm calling it print event log. You've got three inputs. One is a indication of a severity of the event, and we're doing that with the event color. We can have blue, which means it's a normal event, red, which means it's a extreme event, and black, which means it's whatever, but we can always change these colors as we want. Then we've got the actual text of the event that we will feed in as a string, and then a Boolean where the user can say, okay, I want to log this to CSV file or not. Um, now you can add to this however you want, but these are just some basic things we can use as inputs. So the first thing we need to do is decide what color we're going to print this in the rich text box. And so we're going to define a text color, which is a system drawing dot color, alpha RGB color. If the input, the event color is an integer of zero or one, then it's either, if it's zero, it's blue. If it's one, it's red. And if it's anything else, it's black. Again, you can modify this however you want, but this just gives you an idea. So once we know what the text color is going to be, we have to set the rich text box, what's called the selection color. Again, I talked about this in our video on rich text boxes. So the selection color will be that text color that we have determined. And then we need to define an event text, which is a timestamp plus the actual text that was fed in this text input. We have to add a timestamp to that. And then we are going to both print it into the rich text box and also, if the user wants, send it to a CSV file. We're going to define the event text as a string and we're going to do string.format. And this is the format we're going to use for our date time now. So it's going to be hours, colon, minutes, colon, seconds, and TT, which tells us AM or PM. Now you can add day and month, whatever you want to this, but this is just hour, minutes, and seconds, and whether it's AM or PM. And we're also appending to that in this one formatting, text in. So we've got a timestamp, colon, and the text. And that is the event text that we're, we're going to put on the rich text box and or put it into the CSV file. So if the user says log to CSV, if that Boolean is true, we, we do using Streamrider, we're calling it SW, file append text, and then we do file path where we've defined before 
that it's whatever the, the path is, it's a string with that path, plus the event log file name, which is event.csv or whatever you want. So now we have, we have opened this for appending, and then we just write whatever that event text is. And then we go on and put that event text of the right color into the rich text box. And then the next time we have an event, we just call this, tell it what color, tell it the text in, and then the log to CSV, true or false. And that's about it. And this is a great method that you can use to copy and paste in your future code um, to get you in the mindset of getting feedback, time stamped, and whatever data you want to give to it and printing it to a CSV file so that you can know exactly what's going on. So that's it for this one. If you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.